Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be swatching and creating our own custom lip color using a really awesome lip palette. This is the e.l.f. and Iris Berlin Mis Amores. Mis Amores. Mis Amores. Channeling my inner Latina. The Mis Amores lip palette. So in this palette there are six shades. These colors are absolutely beautiful. And in this tutorial you guys are going to see me swatch them all on my lips, show you the colors, and I'm also going to blend my own custom color together. I love e.l.f. Cosmetics. I think they make the most amazing high quality and affordable products out there. Awesome products. And I love lip palettes. You guys know I'm like a lipstick junkie. I have like a drawer full of lipstick. I can't stop buying lipstick. I love it. I'm addicted. This was my first time trying this palette. So this is a really honest review. And it's kind of like a first impressions of what I thought of it. I'll go over many more details, but if you guys are enjoying this video so far, be sure you give me a big thumbs up, like it, subscribe if you haven't, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and are notified every time I upload. Share with friends as usual if they love e.l.f. cosmetics, which you guys know, I love e.l.f. Share as much as possible. And if you guys would like to see the Mis Amores palette in action, then please continue on watching. Before we get started with the lip palette, I wanted to mention what I'm wearing on my eyes today because I know some of you guys are probably curious. I normally don't do like brown smoky eyes. I do like really colorful looks now. I just feel like I'm in like this colorful vibe. I actually really love the way this look came out. So I used one of my favorite palettes that I actually put together. These are all of my Makeup Geek shadows. I just, oh, I love Makeup Geek shadows. Guys, whenever I say something I really like and I go, oh, just know that I really do love it. I love this palette so much. This has all of my favorite shades by Makeup Geek and I used a couple of them today. I used Mirage, which is this like really nude color for the brow bone. I used Creme Brulee, which is my transition color, which I think is the perfect transition color. Of course, I used Cocoa Bear. I love this shade. This is like one of the most popular shades of Makeup Geek and it looks good on everyone. I used Cherry Cola, which is like a red. And lastly, I used Corrupt, which is a black. And I think I always have to have black incorporated in my look somehow. It really just brings a lot of, a lot of drama. I have another one like this with all my colorful shades, but this is the one I used today. And yeah, that's what's on my eyes. And for lashes, I use the Wink XO Moxie Lashes. Wink is a really cool company. I suggest you guys check them out on Insta. I love their lashes and these are really beautiful. I wear really natural lashes a lot lately. Like the Demi Wispies by Ardell are like my favorite, but I really wanted to do something dramatic tonight. And I actually really like these. Super exciting that we're using the Iris Balin lip palette. And it actually is inside this bag that it comes with. I think that's really cute because you could put your makeup in here, you could put your brushes, you could put your lip palette in here. I mean, whatever. You could even use this as like a little purse. And I love the color of it. I mean, it's so cute. And the palette is inside. This is the palette. And what I love so much about this lip palette is it's not a bulky lip palette. I know there's a lot of lip palettes on the market right now. I think they're all really beautiful, but as far as like travel friendly, I don't think all of them are. This one to me is very travel friendly. You could pop this in your purse. It's very, very light. It feels very weightless. It doesn't feel heavy. It's a good size. It's really sleek looking. It's black. And I just think these colors, love these colors. To me, this looks like the perfect lip palette. It has your reds, you have some browns, you have a nude, you have a coral, you have a purple. And the great thing about this is you can mix these colors together, which I will be doing today. I'm gonna show you guys every color on my lips first, and then we're gonna mix a few, like maybe three or four. And I'll show you guys how you can make your own custom lip color using this palette. Overall, I already think it's beautiful. The colors look gorgeous and it's affordable. And you guys can get your hands on it very easily. So I would definitely think that this is gonna be a hit. I just have a good feeling about it. I would say this scent, it's very, very faint. It has kind of like a very faint, sweet scent, which I actually really like. If you guys have tried the e.l.f. lipsticks, the day to night lipsticks kind of have this really sweet smell to them like candy, and I just love it so much. This kind of reminds me of that, but it is very, very faint. The lip palette also comes with this, and this has like a mixture of shades that Iris mixed together. She has like look one, look two, look three. Really like this because this is helpful to those that purchase the palette. This kind of shows you how you can mix colors to get the shades that she has here, which is really cool. I have nothing on my lips right now, so I'm gonna go in with the purple shade. This is shade one. It looks really good. It looks like a beautiful purple. I'm really dying to see how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the lip defining brush that it comes with. As I'm picking up this color, it feels really soft. It has like a glossy look to it as I'm swiping through it. Ooh, wow, amazing pigment. I mean, I just did a couple swipes 
And look at that. I'm already in love with this color. This is the most beautiful purple. It's kind of like a grape juice purple. It's not something that's gonna be too vibrant for anyone. I think this would look good on so many different skin tones. I love the way it applied. I love that it's like a very glossy finish, like a traditional lipstick. It doesn't look like super matte, and I really don't love matte lipsticks. They make my lips look dry, and I don't really like that look. I love the way this looks though. First impressions of this palette so far are really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove shade one. I'm using these Beauty Bakery wipes. This is the Lip Whip Remover, and these are for their lip whips, but I'm pretty sure you could use these for any lipstick. They look pretty juicy, like they have a lot of remover on them, so I'm gonna use these today. Just so you guys know, this is really easy to remove this right now. It doesn't feel... See, that was super easy. I like these pads too, because it has a little bit of kind of like an oily feel, so when you wipe it off, your lips feel really moisturized. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into shade two. All right, so this is shade two. I actually really, really love this color. It is very unique in my opinion. It's kind of like a red berry. I like that it's not like the typical red. It's not like a tacky red. It is the most beautiful, very muted, almost like a berry red. All right, so now we're gonna jump into shade three and shade three is the darker nude. Very excited about this. This color is so beautiful. I love this one. I have to say, this one is probably my second favorite. I really love the first one. Really, really love the first one, the purple. I feel like this whole palette is really versatile. Any of these shades would look really nice on so many different complexions. It is a really, really nice like nude brown. Moving on to shade four, this looks like the perfect nude. It is a much lighter nude than the one before. All of these colors are pretty consistent, by the way. Like the formula of them is also really creamy very buttery and soft. Every shade has been pigmented, no complaints. I love this nude, this is so good. This is like an everyday nude, this is perfect. I love that it's not like super pink and that it's not like too warm, it's not too like brown, it's like the perfect nude. This color is something I would wear every day. It feels beautiful on the lips, looks beautiful. So on to shade five, this is the coral. I'm really excited about this one because I actually really love corals, especially this time of year during summer and spring. I think I'm gonna love this one. This color is so beautiful. I just love it. This kind of reminds me of like a Lana Del Rey lipstick. I don't know why, whenever I wear corals, I think of Lana Del Rey. No idea why, and <laughs> she wears like nudes. But this to me just looks like really summery. It looks so beautiful. I just love colors like this in general. I feel like all these colors have been just going strong. It's like very rare for me to like find a lip palette that every single color I like. And I actually really love all these colors so far. So this is more of like a bold red and I think it's really beautiful. I love that it's not like orangey and it's like a true red. It's essential to have like in a lip palette is like a true red. So I love that this is here. I don't really wear reds a lot, but I actually really love this red on myself. I think it's really flattering. I would wear this red. I would totally wear this with this look. I think it's really beautiful. I definitely wouldn't say this is like a candy apple red that you're gonna be like, whoa, like that's red. No, it's not like that. It's like a really beautiful wearable red that would look good on a lot of different skin tones. Since I already have this color on, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix a color into it. So I'm gonna pick up the coral and I'm gonna mix this on top of shade six. So I'm gonna mix five and six together. I'm gonna pop the coral like on the center of the lip to kind of create like an ombre effect. I love ombre lips. I love the way this like ombre look came out. It's like a coral faded into a red. It is really nice, especially for this time of year. I just like this. I like it. Love that you can mix these colors. I mean, you don't have to carry around two different ones if you wanna do like an ombre lip. If you have this in your purse, you could just ombre it whenever. You can ombre your lips on the go. So now we're gonna mix some nudes. I'm gonna mix the darker nude with the lighter nude. I'm gonna go in with shade three first. And just for fun, I think I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with shade two, which is the bold berry. I'm gonna go in with that on the outer corners of the lips. I 
actually really love this mixture. It is definitely very mauve-y. It's actually the one that she referred to as mauve tone. She mixed two and three together. I actually mixed a bit of four in that as well. So I mixed three together to get this color and I actually really, really like it. Gosh, I love that you can mix these. It's so fun. She has another combination on here that looks really cool. So I'm gonna try one and six together. When you're mixing these, keep in mind they're so pigmented that you don't wanna put too much or else you're just gonna have a lot of lipstick on your lips. So just go little by little. They are so pigmented. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend shade six over the top. This was actually her combination. She calls it Razzy Raspberry. Oh my gosh, really love. I love raspberry lips, so this was my favorite blend of colors. I'm gonna do one more. I wanna, I wanna get kind of creative with this one. So we're on a roll with this purple, so I'm gonna pick this one up again. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all over my lips, just like a light layer of it. I just love that you can apply this and you can apply it in a really sheer way and it's still so nice. Like I just applied a little tiny bit of this. I love that it looks kind of like a stain. If you want a more glossy look, apply this a little bit more heavily, but if you want something a little bit more natural and less glossy, just do like one or two swipes of this and blend it in your lips. And I just love the finish of this as well. I'm gonna go over it with shade five, which is the coral, so gorgeous. This is a really nice pink. I actually really love this one. This might be my favorite blend. Final impressions of the Iris Belin lip palette with e.l.f. You guys, I absolutely love this palette for so many reasons. The lipsticks were all consistent in formula. They felt amazing on the lips. They had a really nice kind of gloss to them. They looked really healthy, really gorgeous on the lips. They weren't too matte. They feel comfortable to wear. Pigmentation was insane. I mean, just a couple of swipes insane pigment. You don't have to like dig in the pan to get lipstick out. You don't have to like use like a spatula to cut lipstick out, which I really don't like. Just because I love to carry around my lipstick with me, I normally don't reach for lip palettes on a daily basis, but this one I would because it is lightweight. It is really easy to carry around with you. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not bulky and you have just the right amount of color. You're not like bombarded with like 20 different shades that you don't even know what to do with. Also the shades to me are shades that anyone could really wear, which I love. I feel like they would complement so many different Different complexions, so many different skin tones, loved all the colors, was really pleased with this. You guys need to pick this up, get it while you can. I purchased mine on Ulta and I believe it is still available, so I would get it. It is a wonderful price and you also get this beautiful clutch with it that you could pop it right in, carry it around with you, use this for a purse, whatever. If you guys like this video, be sure you like it and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe today. Hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and you're notified as soon as I upload. Share this video with any friends who love affordable makeup that is amazing in quality. Leave your comments of what you thought of this video down below. I will be replying, I will be answering you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great night or day and I will see you all in my next tutorial.